So we're gonna start by soaking our cashews in warm water and then we're also going to prepare our apples and we're gonna half, half it up and then slice some and then dice the others. And so you should have a pile that looks something like this. Then after we're gonna wanna melt some butter. This is for our wet ingredients for the blondie. Add your sugar, mix it all up. Add a little bit of vanilla, add your egg, some aquafaba, and mix it all up and set it to the side. Then we're going to want to work on our dry ingredients. We're going to want to add some flour, some cinnamon and apple spice, baking soda, baking powder, mix it all up and then add it to our wet ingredients and combine all the ingredients until they're all incorporated. And then you're gonna wanna lastly add your apples and just fold them in and transfer it to a springform pan and bake it. After that, you're gonna want to make your heavy cream and you're gonna wanna just blend your cashews up and then you want it to be more of a runny texture than what I had. Um, after you're done with that, just set that aside and make your caramel. So we're gonna just evaporate um, sugar and water together, add some butter, and then we're gonna want to add <coughs> the buttermilk and then keep mixing until, until it turns into a brown color and set that aside to cool. Then we're gonna add that to our apple or cheesecake filling really, later. Now we're gonna be making some whipped cream. So we're gonna take some aquafaba and mix it around. Add some vanilla for flavor and a little bit of oil. And then you'll keep doing this until peaks start making. And this actually tastes really good. Oh my gosh. Ryan, try this. that just transfer it to a bowl and we're gonna fold that into our cheesecake later so let's make our filling we're gonna use 16 ounces of cream cheese I used this brand add some sugar white sugar and brown sugar and mix it all up until it's all incorporated once it's all incorporated you're gonna want to add like three-fourths cup of your caramel to fold in your Cool Whip. And set that aside. Add that to your, on top of your blondie. This is your cheesecake filling. Then you're gonna take out all the air pockets and we're gonna make some apples for the top. So add some lemon, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some brown sugar and just mix it all up transfer it over to a saucepan and glaze them then we're gonna make our whipped cream on the top so the whipped cream is just heavy cream again see this one's a little bit more um, wet and then add cinnamon some powdered sugar and just gonna want to add the toppings however you like um, I just laid them out and then I added the whipped cream on the top and then you're gonna want to add the leftover caramel and let it sit in your fridge it looks ugly I'm sorry but I'm sure it tastes good so we'll see after it's done setting so yeah you're gonna want to make sure you cut around the edges to make sure it doesn't come off and this is the finished product it's so delicious remember to keep it in your freezer because it will start kind of falling apart so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this recipe